Okay, now next question that you have here is, do I try to set up Pixel and also UTM at the same time? Okay, or we only need to set up either one. Now UTM, for those who are not familiar, is uh, UTM is a mechanism for us to tag the source, the traffic source or the conversion source when we are actually viewing everything in our analytics, usually Google Analytics. So uh, for this question, I would say, um, usually we do UP UTM tagging. If you look at my campaigns and all that, we usually do UTM tagging. Why? Because we want to really identify and pinpoint the source. So these are two, dif two different things. Pixel is actually for you to kind of like, um, for you to do retargeting and measurement on the Facebook platform. And UTM is for us to verify, of course, both has its own kind of like, you know, um, miss, hit and miss kind of like uh, data collection. But fundamentally, what we are trying to do here is we want to at least have different sorts of data to verify at least to our level best to see which channel provides us better conversion or so-called better ROI. So I would say if I if it's me, I'll do both. Um, and it's not too much work to do, Simon, I think. I mean, um, UTM is actually very straightforward. If you know the format, I think it's very easy to set up. You just need to have a very uh, kind of like a grid format. Uh, where if you are, I believe you're running an agency. So if you agree that this is really something that we want to track on all these parameters and all that with your client, then everything should be quite good. So once everything is set up properly, then it's all good. Maybe we can just move along. Okay, so yeah, I will have both, Simon. The Pixel, definitely you need to set up. The reason why you need to have both, the other reason is because the iOS 14.5 update is really messing up in terms of some reporting, you see? A lot of people kind of like freaked out about the iOS 14 update. If you ask me, let me say this again, I did not see a lot of fluctuation in terms of my result. Because you see, put it this way, if you see leads number reporting coming down, you just need to verify, are you getting the same number of leads? So as long as the number, uh, you know, uh, per se, everything is working fine. But they are, they will. I mean, they are possible fluctuation or uh, so-called, um, you know, missed in terms of the reporting. So you need to have both. Another reason. 